all for hanging around for this, the last panel of the conference this year. They're not the last event, however, because we've got coming up the Saudi foreign minister. And because of that, uh, we're going to be uh, real tight on time. Uh, and we'll be watching the clock just as assiduously as Thierry did. Um, I was astounded in this session two sessions ago to learn uh, from Steve Erlanger's panel, astounded that there's confusion about American foreign policy. Um, so we'll straighten that out before we're done here this afternoon. You can all go home uh, knowing exactly what the next two years are going to be like under Mr. Biden. I must say that if you liked the last six years of American foreign policy, you're going to love the next two years, or at least uh, you can appreciate it because maybe appreciate it more because uh, the next two years will have the competent team that Mr. Biden has installed instead of the rather uh, chaotic team that uh, the former guy installed. Um, now, we have a very competent panel here in New York and Washington who's going to guide us through this. Just to remind you about the midterm elections, which is the subject of this panel, just to remind you, the Senate, when we came here on Friday, was very much inclined in Mr. Biden's favor, 51 to 49 seats. And then on Friday, one of the senators, uh, Kristen Sinema from Arizona, decided that she didn't like being a Democrat anymore. So she is now an independent. So that gives Mr. Biden the same problem that he had uh, in the first two years uh, in the Senate. Uh, in the House, it's a little different. Things are inclined against Mr. Biden, but not so much. I mean. He, there, was a, there was a lot of prediction about uh, perhaps a landslide in the House against him. Uh, it didn't turn out to be that way, that, but it, does, uh, it isn't against him. It's 222 Republicans in the House and 213 Democrats. And you would think with that makeup of Congress, you'd think that this could be uh, a disaster. It could, the next two years could be a disaster. They might be. Um, maybe not, though. It may not be as bad as everybody predicts. Uh, especially given Mr. Biden's deafness at, uh, at negotiating and handling things. And given the fact that there's a lot of bilateral agreement on the main two issues that the U.S. views are confronting the world today, China and Russia, Ukraine. So that's my thought. But hey, that's just me. What about the panel? Let's talk to uh, some of the people that can help us through this. And I think that's